Hey guys, I'm here today to show you the inside of this Digital Reading Passages resource. This resource includes passages about 30 different animals. And it comes as a PDF, which you could print to use as a pencil and paper resource. But if you have Google Classroom, you'll also have access to the digital interactive version of the resource. I'm going to show you how it works and give you a little peek inside. So when you download your file, you'll open up to a PDF. The first page is the table of contents, as you can see, which shows what animals are included. And I hyperlink to a few of them just to help you get to different places more quickly in the document, especially if you're looking to print just a specific animal. On the second page, you'll click this link right here, and it will make a copy of the Google Slides version of this resource to your Google Drive. So now let me show you what this looks like when it's inside of your drive. So this is what you'll have. All of the passages are in this one file. Now if you don't want to assign all 30 to your students at once, you can go ahead and delete the slides you don't need, or you can cut and paste them into another Google Slide presentation. That way you can make um, extra assignments. And if you mess up, you can always come back to the PDF come back right here and just click this link again to make a fresh copy of the resource. So when your students complete this in Google Classroom, they'll read about the animal and then they will answer questions. Some of the questions are multiple choice, like this one here, and your students will move a semi-transparent circle over their answers. And some of the questions are written response and your students will just type directly into the box and some of the passages are full page, some are just half page, most of them are full page, and they have anywhere between two and four questions. Some are all multiple choice, and then some also include written response, just so students are practicing a variety of skills. Um, one important thing to remember is that you aren't going to share the link, this one right here. You're not going to share that one with your students, but instead you're going to assign this to them inside of Google Classroom. That way they will be able to submit it to you and you'll be able to see their answers. I have included links to a few YouTube videos inside the resource to help you know how to do that. So that's it. I just wanted to show you a quick peek inside. And as you can see, there are 30 different animals, all high interest. And your students are really going to enjoy the vibrant pictures and getting to learn about these animals.